Okay, if you're a chocolate lover, then you are going to absolutely devour today's chocolate muffins. These chocolate muffins are super moist, super rich with a deep chocolate flavor and are hands down some of the best chocolate muffins I've ever had. I promise you're going to absolutely love them. So to start off, you want to preheat your oven to 190C or 375F conventional. Just remember to lower the temperature if you're using a convection oven and line a 12 hole muffin tin with muffin cases. Now this recipe makes about 14 to 15 muffins, so you will need to either fill a second muffin tray with a few liners or if you don't have a second tray then just bake the first tray first let the muffins cool in the tray for about 10 minutes and then carefully place them onto a wire rack to cool while you go ahead and make the rest of the muffins now you just want to pop your trays or tray aside for now and next we're going to sift together our dry ingredients so I've got 180 grams or one and a half cups of plain all-purpose flour three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. And then using a whisk or fork, give that a good mix until it's well combined and set it aside for now. Next in a large bowl, add in 75 grams or three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. For a richer, deeper flavor and color, I would recommend using a Dutch processed cocoa powder if possible. And then you also wanna add in two teaspoons of instant coffee powder and 150 grams or two third cups of hot water. And then using a whisk, give that a good mix until it's nice and smooth. The hot water is just going to help bloom the cocoa powder so that it releases more of its flavor. Flavor. Next, add in 200 grams or one cup of soft light brown sugar, 105 grams or half a cup of unflavored vegetable oil, I use canola oil, two teaspoons of vanilla, 180 grams or three quarters of a cup of room temperature sour cream. You can use yogurt as a substitute as well, though I do prefer the sour cream, and one large room temperature egg. And again, using a whisk, give that a good mix until it's well combined. Next, you wanna add in your pre-sifted dry ingredients from earlier to your wet ingredients and mix that in with a whisk until it's well combined, but you wanna avoid over mixing. So once it's you know well combined and relatively smooth and there are no more streaks of unmixed flour, you wanna stop there. So once that's done, you should have a relatively thick batter and you just wanna get all of the batter off of your whisk because the last little bit is going to be done using a spatula. Now to finish off, we've got 300 grams or one and three quarter cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips here, but we're going to take out about a third cup of the chocolate chips aside to use for later. And then you just wanna add the remaining chocolate chips into your batter and then just fold that in until it's just combined. Again, you wanna avoid over mixing. Okay, so that is our batter all done. It smells so incredibly chocolatey. And now you just want to distribute the batter into the muffin cases until they're about three quarters full. You don't want to fill them to the top, otherwise they will overflow. They'll, I mean, you know, still taste incredible, but you just won't have very pretty looking muffins. Now once that's done, you just want to drop your muffin tins lightly on the counter to remove any large air bubbles, and then you just want to grab the chocolate chips that you set aside from before, and then evenly sprinkle them over the top of the muffins. Okay, so that is all done now, and now these are going to go into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out mostly clean or with a few moist crumbs on it. Now, just keep in mind, you know, that there are loads of chocolate chips in these muffins, so you don't wanna confuse the chocolate chips for uncooked batter, otherwise, you know, you might overcook the muffins. So my first tray of muffins are all done now. They honestly smell so, so ridiculously good. They've been cooling in the tin for about 15 minutes and so I'm just going to carefully take them out and place them onto a wire rack to continue to cool for about another 20 minutes or so just to allow them to firm up a bit and then they're basically ready to eat. These chocolate muffins are honestly so, so rich and chocolatey. They are super, super moist and they stay moist for days and they're honestly just the best chocolate muffins I've ever had head. Mm. 
That was so good. They are so, so chocolatey. And because they're still a bit warm, they're like super fudgy as well. So good. And they're so, so moist while still being, you know, kind of dense and firm like a muffin should be. They're honestly just too, too good. So that is it for today, guys. If you do decide to give these muffins a go and you love them just as much as I do, then please do leave a review on my blog. It really helps my content out and I absolutely love hearing from you guys. I'll see you in the next video.